Good morning! How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. It's kind of rainy where I am. Is it rainy where you guys are? I think we're getting a tropical storm here over the next few days, so we might be seeing a little bit of rain. But hopefully you got out to enjoy some of the beautiful weather this weekend, got to do something fun. I went to one of the parks and got to walk around. So I hope you guys got to do something fun too this weekend. Um, I want to talk to you though about something pretty, something kind of different today. Have you ever gotten lost before? I know that's a hard one. Good morning, Colton. How are you? Oh, I didn't get to say my comment. Thank you for reminding me, Colton. Let me say hi too. I love when you guys comment and say hi and I get to comment back with you guys. I love seeing your photos and talking with you because I miss seeing you in person. So I love when you guys make comments. Good morning, Ariella. Good morning, Luna. Hold on, I'm pulling it up so that way I can comment with you guys too. Oh, I need to make sure I'm commenting. Oh, it is me. Hey, everyone. Miss you all. Okay, I made my comment. Hey, Kaylee, how are you doing? Thanks, guys, for making comments. Thanks, Colton, for reminding me too. So today I want to talk to you guys about something. Have you ever gotten lost before? I know this is kind of a weird thing. Maybe you haven't gotten lost before, but maybe you lost something like a toy or a stuffed animal. Maybe you've lost something or maybe you've been riding with your parents and they're driving along and your parents get lost and they don't know which way to go. What do they do when your parents get lost? That's right, they checked the GPS. We now have GPS's everywhere. They didn't always have GPS's that told you which way to go. Sometimes you had to read this big map that showed you everything that was around you, all the um, roads and um, highways, and you had to follow that. But now we have like phones and our cars that have GPS, which is Global Positioning Satellites. And what this does is it helps give us directions. So maybe you've heard in mom or dad's car or grandma or grandpa or aunt or uncle, you've heard the car or their phone go, turn left at the, oh, that's not left. Turn left at the next light. Turn right in two miles. Have you guys heard that before? Yeah, that's the GPS. That's when, when we don't know which way to go, we can ask our GPS and it will show us how to get there. Pretty cool, right? Parents use this all the time when they need to get places. I use it a lot of times when I need to get places. So, one of the things I wanna to talk to you about though is how do we know what to do in life? Like, I went to Virginia Tech and then after college I came back here, I grew up in Virginia Beach, went to Virginia Tech and then I came back to Virginia Beach. I worked down at the oceanfront, now I work at Haygood. Like, how did I know which way to go? Who leads me in life? Do you, guys know, do you guys know who leads you in life? That's right, it's Jesus. He's like our GPS. Now, Jesus doesn't necessarily say, okay, Lori, you're gonna turn right up here and you're gonna make a stop at Haygood. That's not what he says, but he does guide us in how we're supposed to act and what we're supposed to do. Isn't that right? What does Jesus want us to do, guys? What's some of the things that Jesus wants us to do? You're right. He wants us to love other people. He wants us to pray. Oh, you're so right about that one. He wants us to help others. And he wants us to know God and stay in a relationship with him. These are all things that Jesus did. Jesus prayed in the Bible. Jesus loved other people. Jesus helped people. And Jesus taught people about God. It's all things he did. So he's showing us how to do those same things. He's our GPS for life. And in life, that's what we're supposed to do, right? We're supposed to be kind to people and love them. We're supposed to help those in need and help others. We're supposed to pray and know God and know Jesus, right? Exactly. So we're going to play a game right now to help us practice following. Just like we follow Jesus in life and the actions that he calls us to do, we're going to practice some following right now. Okay, guys? So we're going to play... We're going to play Simon Says, but we're going to call it Jesus Says, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to all stand up. So stand up really, really tall. Stand up. Now, if you play Simon Said before, Simon Says, it's the same exact kind of game. 
And what you're going to do is I'm going to say, instead of Simon, Jesus says, and then I'm going to say something like, Jesus says, touch your elbows. And then you're going to have to touch your elbows. And then I'll be like, Jesus says, wiggle your fingers. And you'll wiggle your fingers. But if I say, touch your shoulders, and I didn't say Jesus said, don't do that then. You only want to do the actions that I say Jesus said for. Okay? Okay. Let's do a practice round first. Okay. Jesus says, wiggle your fingers. You guys wiggling your fingers? Oh, you're doing great. Great job. Okay. Jesus says, touch your head. You guys got it? Okay. And here's another one. Jesus says, clap your hands. Stop clapping. Oh, did you stop? Oh, you shouldn't have stopped. I didn't say Jesus said. Keep clapping. Okay. Jesus said stop clapping. Good job, guys. Okay, let's do a few more. Jesus says touch your elbows. Jesus says give yourself a hug. Jesus says touch your toes. Touch your head. <gasps> Did someone touch their head? Oh man, Jesus didn't say that one. That's okay. Let's go back to our toes. Jesus says, touch your head. Good job, guys. Okay, we're going to play one more time. You all ready? Keep up. Remember, only do the things that I say Jesus says. Okay, here we go. Jesus says, turn around in a circle. Jesus says, jump up and down. Jesus says, stop. Jesus says, touch your toes. Jesus says, touch your knees. Jesus says, touch your elbows. Touch your head. Did I get anyone? Oh man, Jesus didn't say on that one, go back to your elbows. Jesus says, touch your head. Good job, guys. You all did great. Was that fun? Should we do it one more time? I'm really kind of excited, so I want to do it one more time. So let's play Jesus says one more time, okay? Here we go, guys. You ready? Jesus said, shake your hands. Shake your hands all around. Oh, sorry. Jesus said, shake your hands. Jesus said, stop. Jesus said, step to the side. Jesus said, step to the other side. Jesus said, step forward. Jesus said, step back. Jump up and down. Oh, did I get you? Jesus didn't say on that one. You guys did awesome. Give yourselves a round of applause. Jesus said, jump up and down. Good job, guys. Jesus said stop. Okay, we're going to stop the game now. You all did awesome. You guys did so great. That that's, kind of, that's not exactly how we follow Jesus, though, right? Jesus isn't standing there going, okay, let's jump this way. Let's hop that way. But Jesus is guiding us in how we treat people. And Jesus is guiding us in how we act towards others and how we love others. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn a Bible verse, okay? So our Bible verse today is going to come from John chapter 14, verse 6. And so what we're going to do, stay standing, don't sit yet. Our first part is going to say, and Jesus said, kind of like our game, right? But we're going to do, for Jesus said, we're going to put our hands and our fingers in the middle of our hands. This is to remember those marks that Jesus had when he was nailed on the cross. So this is actually, um, a lot of times you'll see this, this is um, the sign language mark for Jesus that people will use. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. You're going to say, Jesus said. Okay? So you're just going to touch inside your hands like the marks on Jesus' hands. That's the first part. Jesus said, I am the way. So you're going to make a path like you're going down the way. I am the way. So let's go back and start from the beginning, okay? Jesus said, I am the way. Good job, guys. The next thing is the truth. So what we're gonna hold out for the truth is a book. Do you know what book we're holding out? That's right, it's the Bible. So we're gonna hold out the Bible for our, I am the truth. Let's see your Bibles and say, I am the truth. I am the truth. Good job, guys. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. And Jesus said, I am the way and the truth. Good job. And the last part, we're going to touch our hearts because it says, and the life. So you're going to touch your heart. Um, your heart's going to be on the opposite side of me. So you'll be, your heart will be on this side. So you're going to touch your heart. So you can do the same side as me. You're going to touch your heart. 
And when you touch your heart, that's to remind our heart beats and it helps keep, it keeps us alive. When it's beating, we're alive. And so we're going to touch our hearts to remind us that Jesus is the life, the way, the truth, and the life. Okay, let's do that all from the beginning. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Good job, guys. And this comes from John, so repeat after me, John chapter 14, verse 6. Okay, good job, guys. Let's do it again from the beginning. Okay? And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14, verse 6. Awesome. Okay, let's do it one more time and then we're going to do it fast. You think you got it? I think you guys got it. So here we go. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14, verse 6. Good job, guys. Okay, you ready for it fast? Here we go. On our marks. Get set. Go. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14, verse 6. Woo! Let's do it fast again because that was super fast. You guys are awesome. Here we go. And Jesus said, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. John chapter 14, verse 6. Good job, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. Whenever you need to know what to do in life, we can follow Jesus. We can be kind. We can love others. We can help people. And we can learn about him and God. And when we do all this, he kind of is our guide. So I brought a guide activity for us today. Do you know what this is? This is called a compass. You don't really see them very much anymore because like we have GPS's on our phones and in our cars that we use, but you might see this on a map or you might see it in different places, but it's a compass. And so what I have up here is north, south, and sorry that mine's opposite guys, east and west, and this little arrow. And what it normally does is the compass will always turn, will show you which way the north is. If the arrow is pointing to north, you can move it around. And real, if you have a real compass, you can move it around, the arrow will move, and it'll help you get directions. But with mine, I get to spin the arrow, because guess what my arrow says? It says, Jesus is the way. Jesus guides my life. So we're gonna get to make our own compass here, but first we're gonna pray. So let's go ahead and turn to God in prayer now. We're gonna do our prayer hands really fast, and then we're gonna go ahead and make some of these compasses, okay? So let's go ahead, um, let's go ahead and pray. So let's put our hands up. Are you guys ready? On your marks. Get set. Go. Open and close them. Open and close them. Give a little clap. Open and close them. Open and close them. Fold them in your lap. Good job, guys. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for showing us how to live and being our guide. Help us to always follow you and live like you did. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay guys, so to remind us that Jesus is our guide in life, that he's our GPS, we're going to make our own little compasses, okay? So what you'll need for this activity is some construction paper, cardstock, or you can use a paper plate. I don't have paper plates, so I'm using paper, but if you have a paper plate, that works really well for this. You'll still need construction paper or cardstock for the arrow, but the paper plate's a great base if you have paper plates. And then you'll also need some, ooh, about to drop my paper. You'll need some scissors to cut. You'll need some ribbon or some string. This will make the middle part of our compass some markers to color with or crayons. Ooh, my markers fell on the ground. And some beads. I don't have, today I don't have any brads, so I'm gonna show you how to put the compass together with beads and string so that your arrow will still spin. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your piece of paper, whatever color you'd like your compass to be. I'm gonna make a red compass. And you are going to cut the, cut the red into a circle. I always fold it, I fold it this way, and then fold it in half again this time, which is not how I normally cut it, but it helps me get my lines for north, south, east, east, and west for the compass. 
And then all I do is I cut a quarter shape of a circle. So just the quarter shape of the circle. And then when you unfold it, you have a full circle and I have my lines for north, south, east, and west. So it's just a little cheat, helps me out. So after you've cut your circle, you'll need another sheet of paper. You can use the same one or a different one. I'm using a different one um, to cut your arrow. I like to use quarter sheets for certain things. So this one I cut earlier, so I'm just gonna use the other quarter sheet of the blue. You're gonna get a quarter sheet of the blue. You're gonna fold it or whatever color you want for your arrow. You're gonna fold it in half. Then what you're do is you're gonna cut your arrow out of this. I like to fold my things in half to cut because it makes it pretty even then on both sides. So what you're gonna do for your arrow is you'll cut the, you'll cut on an angle. That's gonna be the top point. Then you'll cut in. So there's the top part of my arrow. And then you'll cut straight down off the page. And so you'll have this little half and when you open it up, now you have a full arrow that's even on both sides. So, <clears throat> excuse me. After that, you can draw on your compass if you'd like before you put the arrow on. It's a little bit easier because the arrow pops up some. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my symbols north, south, east, and west north, south, east, and west. And then on this one, I'm gonna write, the, I'm gonna write Jesus on my, on my um, arrow. Okay. So I've decorated mine. I have the um, north, south, east, and west. And then I have a um, arrow. Kaylee, I'm so glad you love the compass. I hope you get to make one too. If you do, send a picture. I'd love to see it. So after the compass, what you're gonna do now, now you're gonna assemble the middle part. This is where I use the beads. I just grabbed a few, I grabbed um, three beads. I'm gonna use purple, purple beads this time so you can see them. So you'll need three beads and a piece of string the yarn was kind of hard to thread, so I have ribbon, so something to thread through on the beads to help create the middle. Now, you're gonna to need to poke a hole in the middle of your compass. What I, I have a hole punch with me, but you can do this with scissors, so I'm just gonna slightly hole punch part of this, like only half of it to get my hole. Ooh, I made a double hole, I might need extra beads. So, there's the hole in the middle of the compass. And then I'm gonna put a hole in the middle of my um, arrow so it can spin too. So there you go, and then a hole in the middle. You can do this with scissors, so I'm just using a hole punch to go quickly. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your string, ribbon, whatever you have, and you're gonna thread one bead onto it. That's not gonna thread. Hold on, it's a pink bead they're gonna have the, I'm going to use the square beads. Switching it up, guys. Okay. So I'm going to put a, I'm going to use square beads because they're going to be a little bit easier for me to thread quickly. So I'm going to thread through my string. So I have my bead on there. You're going to tie a knot at the end so your bead doesn't fall off. This will be the back side, so it's okay. If you have a little extra, you can always cut the extra string off. You just want to make sure your knot's big enough that your bead doesn't come off. So there's the base part. Then with this part, what you're gonna do is this will go this is next is gonna go on is your compass. So your bead will be right there. Okay? After that, you're gonna thread another bead on. You're kind of layering your paper and your beads, and this is gonna allow your compass to spin. So now I'm gonna layer another bead on there. And you can use round beads, as you can see I'm using square beads, whatever kind of beads you have. So now I have another bead, so as you see I have a bead on the bottom, the compass part, and then a bead on the top. Then the next part you're gonna add is, we're layering beads and paper, so what do we need next? Paper! So we're gonna add our arrow to our compass. And the bead in the middle allows it to spin easier. If you don't want the bead in the middle and you just want the paper on paper, you can do that too, but to me the bead helps to spin. So then now we have our bead on the bottom, paper, bead in the middle, paper. Guess what we're putting on top? One more bead. You guys are so good. 
Okay, so then we'll put our bead up there and now I'm gonna tie it and cut the extra ribbon off. So I just kind of tie it in a knot at the bottom or right at the top of the bead so I can cut extra ribbon. Just the same way I tied the knot on the back. Sometimes it loops around the bead. That looks pretty cool. You can do that too if you want. If you have brads, brads are amazing. They're little, um, little metal pieces that you just have to poke through and then the back side opens up like a prong and like a prong three prong folder. And then you're really easy to make this. So if you have brads, use those. But I'm having, so we're making it without brads. Okay. So then I went ahead and tied a knot and cut the extra off. So now I have my compass that I can spin my arrow on and remind myself that Jesus guides us through life. He can guide us anywhere. He's our GPS for life. And now we have a compass to remind us of that. And if I ever have a question about what to do, where to go, I can always turn to him through prayer, through reading the Bible, through talking, anything at all, because Jesus is our guide. So if you get a chance to make one of these compasses, take a picture and post it in the comments. We'd love to see what you guys are doing. I miss seeing you all so much, and I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I can't wait to see you guys here next Monday at 915 on the Hey Good Preschool Facebook page. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week. Bye.